Question number 11. Uh, this gives us a cumulative frequency table uh, that Jim, the time in minutes that Jim took to go from his home to school each day. So we've got the table, we've already got the cumulative frequency and we need to plot it on the graph. So I've got that graph just on the next page and we're going to just, we just need to plot this graph. We need to remember what cumulative frequency we plot at the top end um, of the intervals. So here's a little version of the graph, here's our grid. At uh, 10, I need to go the cumulative frequency zero. So at 10, I'm going to plot zero. Okay, oh, it's a bit glitchy there. Dodgy cross. Uh, at 20, I'm going to uh, go up to seven. And we just check our scale, and every little square is worth a number. We just work up and check that. So at 20, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put my cross. At 30, I'm going to go to 20. At 30 to 20. Uh, at 40, I'm going to go to 64. 40, I'm going to 61, 3, 3, 4 there. Uh, at 50, I'm going to go to 74. 50, at 71, 3, 3, just there. And at 60, I'm going all the way up to 80. So 60, I'll go to 80. Now you can try and plot this. With, I'm not going to be able to do this. Um, be able to draw a smooth curve. But it's also okay. Uh, at GCSE, um, you just can just plot uh, a nice smooth curve or you can just join it up like this. It's acceptable. Okay, so let's just switch back. Uh, let's have a look. Let's go back on the page. So we've done that, we've got our two marks here. Uh, it says Jenny expects that it should take her X minutes to go from her home to school each day. On 25 minutes a day, days last term, Jane took longer than X minutes to go from uh, to go from her home to school. So on 25, on a quarter of the day, it took her longer than X minutes. Okay? So use your cumulative frequency graph to estimate the value of X. Okay, so let's go back to the graph. I may want to find out the length of time uh, on quarter, or Jane took longer than so much time on 25%. So normally 25%, we've got 80 at Pascal here, so a quarter is going to be. 80 over 4, 25%. Just a little bit glitchy. Here we go. 80 over 4. We expect to find 1 quarter at 20. Okay? But we wanted the time, these 20, we wanted to find the time that took longer than that. So all we're going to have to do is we're going to have to. Go across. So at 60, we're going to go across until we hit our graph, and then we're going to go exactly down. So from here, straight down, and read off the number at the bottom, and I make that 39. It goes back up. Uh, so usually comes as well to draw in a sort of value of x. So we think 39 minutes. If she took longer than 39 minutes, that would be a quarter of the uh, days it would take her to 